Hi, I'm Robin Asbell, your plant-based chef. Welcome to my kitchen. It's summertime, it's hot outside, and I have one question for you. Do you love ice cream? I'm betting you do. I'm gonna show you today how to make a luscious, non-dairy, creamy almond, no churn ice cream that you can make without any kind of a special ice cream freezer. This is something you can make just whipping up something in your own kitchen. It's quick, it's easy, and I'm gonna tell you, it's so good. Now the key to this delicious ice cream is aquafaba, that bean juice from the can of chickpeas that you used to throw away. So it's also a great eco-friendly food in that regard. I also show you how to make an insanely delicious, quick homemade chocolate sauce made with maple syrup. So it's sweetened with a beautiful whole sweetener, a little coconut oil, a little bit of dark melted chocolate. It is to die for, very grown up dark chocolate sauce. And yes, I'm gonna put a little sundae on this almond ice cream. Can you stand it? And I hope you'll come along with me today and we're gonna make this together. It's gonna be a family favorite. And if you like it, please hit the like button, follow my Facebook page, follow me on YouTube so you can get regular videos from me. And of course, go to robinasbell.com for tons of recipes and more information. Now on to the next. Mmm. So let's make our beautiful chocolate sauce because hey, I know how to party. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is I've got some melted coconut oil, which I just put the jar into a little bowl of warm water to melt it. And I'm going to put in a half a cup of, or half a cup, I'm going to put half an ounce of very dark chocolate in there. It's not completely unsweetened, but pretty close, super dark half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna get this melting. It melts very quickly in this little pot over this very hot burner. And as soon as it starts to soften, I'm going to put in the rest of the liquid ingredients, which include three quarters of a cup of rice milk, not rice milk, which include three quarters of a cup of almond milk or whatever kind of non-dairy milk you like and a half a cup of maple syrup. So to get ready for the final step, I'm going to put this cocoa and I have this cocoa, which I can, I want to put it through a sieve because the cocoa is always a little lumpy and I don't want any lumps. So my chocolate is melted almost. So in goes the maple syrup and it will all continue to melt together again very quickly. The main thing you don't want to do is burn the chocolate Burning the chocolate is never good. And in goes the almond milk. And this really is just so quick and easy. You can throw this together after dinner and it just doesn't take that long or require any particular skills. So I'm going to switch to a whisk. You can see there's no chocolate left in there. And I'm going to just get it kind of warming over the heat. I don't need it to be bubbling, but just warming. Again, this is a hot little burner. So then I'm going to start just gradually whisking in the cocoa. So you can see, I've got my cocoa 
and it's nice and finely dispersed and powdered because I put it through the sieve. So I can just whisk it in a little at a time. Although again, I just kind of got it all in there. But you just want to make sure there aren't lumps in it before it goes in because then it will for sure be lumpy after you cook it. And you can see it's already thickening up to make this luscious, beautiful chocolate sauce. And I don't need it really to boil, but I'm going to let it come to sort of a low simmer just to get it fully thickened. So there's no starch or anything in there. <laughs> this is going to be more of a chocolate sauce. Now, if you wanted it to be more like a fudge, you could put in um, less of the almond milk. So you could do it with a smaller amount of almond milk. Or if you're really decadent, you could add more chocolate. All right, it's starting to come to a little bit of a simmer and that is all I'm gonna do. So here we have our beautiful chocolate sauce. Now, center stage comes the ice cream. And because it's no churn, it's absolutely the easiest thing. So I'm gonna just mix the base. So I've got some Almond butter, yes, half a cup of luscious creamy almond butter. And if you want, you can always throw in some chunky almonds. And I've just got one of these small cans of coconut cream, which are very handy to have for just such an occasion. Interestingly, there's always a little bit of water in these. And I've got a little whisk to whisk it up. I want this to be a nice, smooth mixture that's going to be easy to fold my whipped, whipped aquafaba into. So I've got my, that's nice and creamy, and then I've got another quarter cup of coconut oil, because what the heck, we're going all in with rich and delicious, and a teaspoon of vanilla. So just whisk that up. And that is our ice cream base. And then I'm going to start the mixer. Now, if I weren't talking to you and I were in a big hurry, I would have started the mixer first so that it would be whipping while I was mixing this up and the whole thing would go even more quickly. So I've got my mixer and I'm going to put the aquafaba in, quarter cup, you should have that much in a typical can of chickpeas. The cream of tartar, important, crucial ingredient there. And then I'm just going to crank it up. And uh, it's such a small amount that I will go ahead and Make sure that the cream of tartar and everything is in there. Stir that up. And away. So just to let you see what the aquafaba looks like now, this is the beautiful whip just of the aquafaba and the cream of tartar. And now I'm going to gradually whip in the powdered sugar. And this is gonna just be a slow, a gradual process. You can have it on kind of medium. And just go in with it gradually. A little bit's gonna fly up. I want it to go down the side. So 
so it will make a sturdy, almost meringue-like whip. make sure I get all that down from the sides. So I'll go ahead and mix it one little bit more. And here we have a glossy, fluffy, whipped aquafaba, which you could make into a meringue if you've made it a little stiffer. But this is absolutely fine this way. And unlike so many things, this is not raw egg whites, so you don't have to worry about it poisoning anyone. So I'm going to put some of this in, just a dollop. And this is just a technique to, I'm gonna make sure this gets lightened as it were, although the mixture's pretty fluid. So you put in a dollop, and then I'll put the rest in, just put it all in there, and we are going to fold this so that we can keep as much of the air inflated into the mixture because that's what it's there for. This will give our no-churn ice cream that churned, lightened texture. So here we go. So you cut down into the middle, down into the middle and up the side, into the middle and up the side, into the middle and up the side. That is folding so that we can make a relatively smooth, although I do not mind if there are some swirls left. Again, this is just to make sure we keep it as lightened as possible. So then I'm going to put it into my freezing container. And here we have it. Creamy almond, no churn, ice cream. I'll put this right into the freezer and then I'll get some out for you to have this Sunday. And so here we are with our beautiful no churn ice cream, frozen. Look at that. I've got my scoop. And I'm just gonna do my scoop. And you just drag that right through there. Get yourself a luscious scoop of beautiful almond creamy creamy ice cream look at that scoop so here we have our gorgeous gorgeous ice cream with, yes, chocolate sauce all over the top. Is anyone missing out on anything here? Absolutely not. This is going to be your go-to treat this summer because you can put this together so quickly, so easily. Can of chickpeas, I kid you not. A little bit of coconut cream, almond butter, and you've got yourself an incredible dessert. And you know it's tasty, but when you come to my house, it is all about the flavor. Mmm. So good. Mm -hmm.